guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm bringing you another How to Off Meta, and today we're talking about Caitlyn Top. Now, Caitlyn is usually known as an ADC, but did you know that Caitlyn can actually top pretty well? Now, before we get into why, let's go with the runes. These are the runes I'd get, press the attack definitely. Now, obviously the sub runes can vary based on your situation, based on who you're against, but these tend to be the runes I go with her. Items. Now, with Caitlyn, the only item I can say is really necessary, even though you can go with another mythic, would be Immortal Shield Bow. Because Caitlyn top needs to be slightly tanky, because when they come after her, they think, oh, I'm going to go kill her because she's squishy. No, she's not squishy when she has Immortal Shield Bow. And, of course, the extra shield really gives her time to kill the enemy before they kill her. So, I really think that's the only necessary item you need to get. You can decide what else to get, whether you want to go Lethality or Critical Strike. Now, I have played her with also Divine Cindera, and that has worked. But I think Immortal Shield Bow just really works well for her. Playstyle. Now, Caitlyn, as someone else pointed out to me, can be a lane bully. See, because of her range, she can attack most enemies without actually putting herself in much danger. So you can actually, like, when they try to go for the minions, you can just attack them, and eventually they'll probably have to back off and even if you don't get a good amount of kills with her, you can still win lane by winning the minion game. Because causing them to back off can sometimes cause such a gap between Caitlyn's CS and their CS. And even if she doesn't get much kills, she can still get a lot of gold just by killing a bunch of minions. And Caitlyn is very good at last hitting minions. So basically you have to be aggressive and you really want to try to get so much more minions than they do. You don't necessarily have to go for the kills. You can, but you don't have to. So. You really just gotta take advantage of her traps, kind of bully them in lane, make sure that they don't get much CS, and you can get ahead very early on. Now, when it, as far as it comes to heroes that she's not too good against, I've won games with top Ioli against me, but she's annoying. She is annoying for Kate, so I would say probably not. And also Teemo, because even though, once again, I've, I think I've beaten Teemo before with top Kate, but, you know, with his blind and everything, still, it's one of those things where it can work, but do you really want to put yourself through all that hassle? But everybody else, man, she is good against, and she actually counters at least two tops. One top being Jax, the other top being Set. Why? Because those two tops, they kind of really need you to get close to them, and how do they do that? Well, Jax jumps to you, and Set brings you to him. So, Caitlyn kind of counters both of them because if Jack jumps to you, all you got to do is E. Literally, she just uses her E, she gets away from Jax, and even if he tries to use his stun, he can't jump to her again, so you can either run away or you can get some damage on him, and sometimes you can even get the kill. Same thing with Set. If he brings you close, use that E. Get away from him. And then you can either try to get the kill, run away, you know, so many things you can do with both those heroes. So she kind of counters them both. It's very hard to deal with a Caitlyn if you're a Set or Jax. So let's summarize. Number one, runes. You really want to go for press the attack and damage runes with her. You want a, a, to really cause a good amount of damage, especially early on. Two, items. Really just the Immortal Shield Bow. That's the only one that can say is really necessary with her. You can have fun with the others, but she really needs a Immortal Shield Bow. Play style. Bully lane. <laughs> you gotta bully him. And sometimes you gotta go for those kills. Sometimes you just wanna go for a good amount more minions than your enemy has. But bully lane. That's basically what you gotta do with her. Also, bonus, Caitlyn is one of the few top laners that doesn't need Hullbreaker to really push towers quickly because of her usually high attack, high attack speed, and the fact that every six shots is basically almost like her critical striking, and that works on towers as well. You can get Hellbreaker with her. I've gotten Hellbreaker with her, but she doesn't need it. She can get those towers really quickly without it. So what do you guys think about Caitlyn Top? Have you tried this? Do you plan on trying this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and may God bless you all.